Greetings, my name is Jesse Smith, uh, developer of Sagan AI, and now there is a new version, um, a new virtual assistant uh, I am referring to as Savannah AI. You can think of Savannah as Sagan's sister in some respects. She has a little bit different personality than Sagan, but she does a lot of the same things. And as they both grow, um, their you know personalities will develop differently. Now on the subject of virtual assistants, there are beginning to be quite a few out there on Android. And for somebody downloading a solution, you know, as a virtual assistant to make things easier for their phone, one has to wonder what differentiates one virtual assistant from another. They all do a lot of the same things. Um, but I can tell you with Sagan and Savannah, um, Sagan and Savannah both do at least 45 commands, which are quite a few. I've noticed several of the other virtual assistants uh, don't do nearly that many. And I think one of the main reasons for that is uh, a lot of them are lacking utility commands. And what I mean by utility commands, I mean by like clearing call log, um, clearing text messages, um, showing text messages, things like that that normally you'd find in other apps like uh, task manager apps or apps that deal with uh, clearing up your space on your phone or memory or, or things of that nature. So that's what I've seen lacking and that I've put in Sagan quite a bit, especially the professional versions. Um, there's quite a few utility commands so you don't have to dig through different menus to, to get these to work uh, with stock Android. Um, interfaces if you will you just simply do it by voice so i'd like to get started with savannah like i did for sagan and just go through some commands uh, again these will only be a handful of the commands that you can run but hopefully it'll give you an idea and allow you to get started um, i highly recommend trying the professional versions as you can do quite a bit more with that you can even hold phone calls um, you can ignore calls, reject them, um, and you can auto-answer calls. So when a call comes in, it automatically answers on your phone. You don't need to hold the phone up or swipe the phone to answer it or anything like that. It's also great for uh, other features as well, so like car mode, if you will. So to get started, I've installed Savannah AI here on my phone. And I'm going to go ahead and start it up and turn it up so that you can hear it. And I'll just begin by doing that. So, let's go ahead and open the app. Greetings. I do not believe we have met. What should I call you? Jesse. Are you sure that I can call you Jesse? Greetings, Jesse. What can I do for you? And as with Sagan, um, Savannah shows your last phone call, your missed phone call for the day, as well as your last text message. Um, I'm going to start out and just do some simple, uh, some simple commands here. The first one is I'm going to ask her what the distance um, of the moon is from Earth. And this, again, uses a knowledge base to do so. What is the distance of the moon from the earth? Current distance from earth 227,924 miles, 57.51 R, plus average distance from earth 239,200 miles, 60.36 R, plus Largest distance from orbit center 252,100 miles, 63.61 R, plus nearest distance from orbit center 225,600 miles, 56.93 R, plus orbital period 27.322 days. So as you can see, there's quite a bit of information there. It even shows a graph. Um, and you'll see a lot of that when you ask Savannah questions. It'll show detailed information. It'll speak it and show graphs if necessary. Um, and the same holds true for mathematics, which are, you know, it can do quite a bit of as well. 
because it is using the Wolfram Alpha knowledge engine, which is also a computational knowledge engine. So it can do math on the fly. Very, you can do algebra equations, statistics, and with Savannah or Sagan, you can even do it with your voice by using um, operational keywords for math, such as add, subtract, multiply, divide, and of course other operators that are more advanced in math as well. So I'd like to move on and I'm just going to do a simple phone call here. I'm going to call my bank, First Western Bank, and I'll show you how that works. Call First Western. So as you can see, it dialed the number immediately. It directly dialed the number. Um, and Savannah and Sagan are both very accurate. You just name your contact, it'll call directly. You can also do call home, call phone, call work, um, just to specify the type of phone number that you wanna call. Okay, let's move on. Um, I'm gonna open an application. I'm gonna go ahead and open Facebook open Facebook open Facebook application launch prompt finished so as you can see um, it opened the application Facebook and What's interesting about Savannah and Sagan that other virtual assistants will not do is keep track of your um, recent uh, history, if you will, um, for voice actions. And here's what Savannah kept track that I opened Facebook. And so what happened was, is a button was created called Open Facebook. And now if I want to open Facebook, all I have to do is tap that button. I don't even have to speak it again. So by keeping track of your last voice actions and then making button out of those, um, you can simply just press the button. And if you can see the button, it's kind of highlighted in a light purple under the use say button. And I'll show you that button that was just created. So now if I were to go ahead and do open Gmail, um, or even open browser or whatever it will show those buttons as well or create them it only does the last three at this time but it's very handy if you do repetitive operations so i'm going to go ahead and uh, just move on to some other things um, just do a simple text message uh, i'm just going to do a real simple test message to a contact i have named brianna and um, send Brianna a message. Hello, how are you? Question mark. Are you sure you want to send a message? Hello, how are you? To contact Brianna with phone number 701-509-3758. So as you can hear, hopefully you can hear Savannah there that uh, she's asking me to send that message. And if I want to do so, then I just hit yes. Now, when I said question mark, it replaced the word question mark with the actual question mark character in my message. So it doesn't spell out question mark, it replaces it with that character. And um, so now if I didn't get the message quite right, I can simply tap the text and we'll bring up the keyboard and I can modify that text before sending it. So again, more for accuracy there as well. So going on to some other How commands, is it going, Jesse? What can I do next? I'm just going to go ahead and say um, set alarm time 8.30 a.m. Are you sure that the alarm should be set to 8.30 a.m.? I hope to be a good personal assistant. Tell me what you want, Jesse. So as I move along and I do commands, uh, eventually um, Savannah and both Sagan and Savannah will start asking me personal questions like, am I married? Do I have kids? Do I have pets? A lot of demographic information in order to get to know me. And she and he will remember that. 
And so later, as you know, Savannah and Sagan evolve, they will build on these questions. And then later you'll hear, you could hear something like, so how are your kids doing? Um, if you said you had kids in the first place. And she will ask their names. And that'll be later on. And just keep building on the conversations, much like humans do. That's how we get to know each other, is by asking each other questions. And then later, I ask more about it or refer to it and build on that in order to get to know more. And that's kind of where I'm going with Sagan and um, Savannah. So be sure if you are using these to do the automatic updates as new questions will be introduced and knowledge and so forth. So um, there are quite a few other uh, commands here. There's over 40. Um, I think there's just over 45 now at this point. From navigation to finding videos to playing songs to adding reminders, um, you know, showing processes. Uh, there's all kinds of them. And if you look at the quick help guide, this will definitely show you all the commands. And then you'll also see the commands that are in the professional versions that are not in these free demo versions. And so I definitely encourage you to try those professional versions. Not only does it support me and my development, but it'll also give you a better product, you know, because it'll be doing commands that are advanced that you won't find in many other assistants. And not only that, the commands that it is doing are in other paid apps. Um, for example, clearing call history, you'll often find that in a paid app. And so I encourage you to check out um, all the commands and practice them and move on to more advanced commands. And I'll be coming out with some new videos here for both uh, Sagan and Savannah Professional, which will focus on those commands that those, assist those assistants can do. Excuse me. So I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. I hope you've learned something and that you um, use Savannah and Sagan in your daily life in situations that you need to or would or make it more efficient for yourself. If you're out on the road and you need to find a place or navigate to it, just simply say navigate in the name of the place. It'll bring up a list of places or place in your area and you simply tap it and it'll do the drive by drive or excuse me um turn by turn navigation to that you know destination and you can do find pizza find you know all kinds of stuff there location based activities and, and commands as well so i thank you for watching this video and i will be back with more thanks